everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here, you're most likely coming from my Etsy pattern for this adorable mushroom plush. But if not, you can find the link to my pattern in the description below. Regardless, I'm so happy that you're here. So this is what my mushroom looks like in full. And the main focus and tutorial for this video is going to be for these happy eyes and adorable blushing cheeks. So here I have laid out all of our materials. Um, I have some black acrylic yarn. You could also use some embroidery thread, though I would double up on the thread for that. I have some fluffy pink yarn, a yarn needle, and some pins. So here I am moving everything to the side, and all you're going to need first are some pins. So I'm going to start by counting 10 rows from the first row of the body of the mushroom. Um, you don't have to do this, you can align the eyes wherever you'd like because the face really gives it the personality. So here I'm using my fingers to point out four stitches and I'm going to insert a pin on either side of those four stitches to mark the ends of one single eye. Now you could tweak this, you could um, use less stitches, you could use more stitches. That'll just affect how wide your eye is going to be on your mushroom. Note that I inserted the pins at the bottom of that row of stitches, and now I'm gonna insert two more pins on the top of that same row, about one stitch apart. Here I am inserting my yarn into my yarn needle. Now I'm going to insert my needle um, a few stitches away from one of my pins and I'm going to make sure that the needle exits out right next to where I inserted the pin. Remember to leave a little bit of yarn at the end. Insert your needle right next to the pin at the other end of the bottom of your row. and Make sure it exits again right next to the pin you inserted, this time at the top of the row. Hook your yarn over the top two pins and here you'll start to see your eye beginning to take shape. Insert your needle into the same hole you exited out of, making sure to loop over the strand of yarn. Exit directly next to the other pin at the top of the row, ensuring you're exiting above the strand of yarn, as you did with the previous pin. Repeat what you did previously by looping over the strand of yarn except this time exiting where you first entered. And here you can see that the eye has taken shape and it can hold its place, so you may remove the pins. Last but not least, tie the two ends and then stuff them into the mushroom. I like to double or triple knot just to make sure that it stays in place. Be sure not to tie your first knot too tight because your eye can stretch, but your second and third knot can be much tighter. I use the dull end of my yarn needle to stuff the ends in. So here is one eye all complete. Now 
You basically follow the same process with the other eye, except make sure to count about three stitches between both eyes. Again, you can tweak this and give your mushroom a little bit more of a different personality. And here you can see we have both eyes all complete. And now to add the blushing cheeks. I have some light pink yarn and here I am putting it onto my needle. And again I'm inserting my needle a few stitches away from where I want my cheeks to be. Um, I like to put it one row of stitches underneath where the eye ends um, on either side. So go down a stitch from where you inserted your first pin and then um, make it about two stitches across. So insert on both ends of those two stitches. And I like to do about two passes. And again, exit with your needle at the same spot where you first entered. And you're going to tie a couple knots and stuff those ends in. And again, repeat on the other side. And finally, your adorable mushroom plush is all complete. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and happy crocheting!